I thought I would try something a bit more different for my newest design. But I'm just going to talk you a bit through my design process. So usually I start with searching for a reference picture that I'm going to use. And I try to find one that's a bit, you know, in the right shape already so I don't have to do too much mental gymnastics to figure out how it's going to look on the base. So then I figuring out the fit, the shape, um, there's usually a lot of additional process that's going through. Um, I need to fix up a lot. And once I'm done, or well, mostly satisfied with the general shape of it, I start on a new layer with the mask clipped on to just go around the borders and see where the general layers are going. So for this coat I have, I am going to start with, you know, the coat flaps and the collar and the belt and try to find a way of making it look like it fits on the body of the base. I already start using a shade that I usually would use for shading so I can just you know draw and shade directly on top of it without having to worry about it maybe peeping through one of the layers afterwards. Then I go in and I pick colors that I actually want the item to have and start with a very very rough shading. As you can see, I'm just I'm, I'm going in and blending out and just looking where the shadows are on the reference picture and how I'm going to make that feel on the actual design. I do that with both the shading color and then again with a highlight color. Sometimes it's not as, you know, obvious um, because the reference picture doesn't fit as well. This reference picture is actually a really good one because it already has that feeling of, you know, someone wearing it. Um, you have a 3D shape to it. You have a bit of dynamics to it because of the folds. It's not, it's not looking like it's hanging on the hanger. It's, it's really a bit more organic. And then I take my darkest shading color and I add in the what I like to call deep shadows or you know detail shading. I go in to the parts that are really in the deep shadows. You can see I really try to see where are they on the reference picture and where will they be on the design. It's actually making a lot of sense that, for instance, in between the arms, in the armpits, or where flaps overlay, there will be more shadow. Then I'm going to make the background, match it to the forefront, and if I'm satisfied with the finished product, I'll just copy the merged layer and go in recoloring it. Um, the recoloring process is rather fast compared to the general shading but yeah it's it's mostly practice um, some colors are easier to achieve some are more difficult um, when it comes to making something black or white I do have my process of how I go at it um, every designer has their own way of finding it